This is just a quick little video I made to show some of the stuff I've been working on with Lobo lately. We've been working on some retrieving drills. Uh, he's six years old and never really done this until recently. So we're going to be working on uh, casting three ways, both to the left and right, and then also casting straight back. And on the back cast, we'll be working with both left and right turns. So I've got bumpers out in all three directions, and this first cast is going to be back with him rotating over his left shoulder. Oh, wait. Good. Got a boy. Come. He is a Malinois, so a bit of tug makes a good reward for him. So I'm going to replace this bumper, throwing it over his left shoulder. And then we're going to try a cast to the right. And you're going to see he makes a bit of an error here. Lobo's a bit of a sensitive dog socially. So when he makes that mistake, I just give a very gentle nope to mark the behavior. And I use the leash to stop him, but no harsh correction. Then nope. I reset him and uh, try it again, and this time he nails it. Good, good, good. That a boy. Good, come. Good job. Yeah, good boy, buddy. I'm gonna replace this bumper over to his right, and the next cast is gonna be straight over to his left. The next cast is going to be back, this time rotating him over his right shoulder. I mix in a few holds throughout the training session, so we always maintain a bit of control throughout our practice. Again, now I'm going to toss the bumper over his left shoulder and then cast him straight to the right. He's a bit sloppy when I'm asking him to release the bumper uh, throughout this entire session, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. My main thing is making sure his attitude stays good as he learns to distinguish between his directions. If you look at Lobo closely here, you can see that he is rotated and leaning slightly to the right where I tossed that last bumper. So this cast will be back rotating to the left away from that mistake. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. On this next repetition you'll see both Lobo and I make a mistake. He casts back instead of over and I failed to have a good grip on the leash so it got away from me. Luckily he recalls well and so I was able to reset him and uh, try it again. What I like about this next attempt is that Lobo almost makes the same mistake, but I let him think it through and he makes the right choice.
this next repetition he makes another mistake. I signal him back and he goes over to the right. This time I don't say anything, I just let the leash stop him because I know I'm going to want to send him to the right next and I don't want to create any conflict. And here's that cast over to the right. If you look closely, he hesitates just a bit as he's still trying to sort out right from wrong. Over. 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 Good. Good. Come. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Now I'm going to take that bumper from the right and toss it straight behind him. So there's two bumpers back there. And we're going to do back casts alternating right and left. The first one's going to rotate to his right shoulder. Always. Good. Come. Good boy. Hold. Again, mixing in a hold. He's going to bring it to my side this time. Hold. Yes. Good boy. Good job. So Wait. Now I'm going to replace that bumper over to the right and cast him back, rotating to his left shoulder. He's starting to slow down, so now we're just going to do a bit of cleanup. We'll finish up with a cast straight back from my side. And I always like to end each session with a little bit of play, just to end in good spirits. <laughs> 